This is Redstone Homeschooling. I watch one of Generic B's Redstone Academy videos and then take what I've learned and put it into practice on my own, oftentimes with disastrous results. Hey guys, this is my Redstone Homeschooling series. And uh, if you've seen the intro, which just happened five seconds ago, uh, then you know that I watch one of Generic B's Redstone Academy videos and then I attempt to uh, take what I've learned and give it a try on my own here. Uh, kind of like homework. So what we're going to do is I've got it, things kind of set up the way he had them uh, in episode 0, inputs and outputs. Uh, we've got our inputs here. We've got the big uh, stone, big nose. We've got the robot penis. Uh, we've got a big square stone pancake and big square wooden pancake. And we've got like a railway with uh, like an eyeball on it. And we've got some TNT. Now these are the outputs over here, the things get affected by the inputs, and we've got a uh, wooden door, we've got an iron door, redstone lamp, a note block, uh, an empty thing because trapdoors are cheats, and I can't put it on the friggin' thing. This is one of these guys, he's pretty cool, we've got a dispenser, some sticky pistons, and we're gonna try this out here. So the one thing I've learned about um, redstone is that it blows shit up every time 100% of the time. So if you hit the big nose, blows the hell up. Dead. Who? See? And you hit the robot penis, and it goes down because it's soft, and then blows up. And then you step on the stone pancake, and you step on the wooden pancake, and you hit the eyeball, and you hit the TNT, and surprisingly, TNT also blows up. Oh! So, inputs. I think we're doing pretty good here, guys. Now what we've got over here are the outputs. These are the things that get affected by the inputs. So the first thing is a door, and a wooden door I can open on my own, and a, the, what the hell is it? An iron door I cannot. But I hit that. Whew, look at that, it opened up. It was put out. And this guy gets opened up, and this is the kind of thing you want to keep the bed intruders away. And this guy keeps your nightlight on, and this guy plays you a song. Steve's coming for you in your sleep. He's gonna watch you all night long and eat. And then this thing just cheats, and I can't put a friggin' trap door. Oh, okay. Trap door. Trap, trap, trap. Trap door is trappy. Uh, but he doesn't go where he's supposed to go on the friggin' thing. What happens? Does this work? Science. Come on, hit it. Oh yeah! Learning things! And here's a fence in case I want to walk through it. Which I do. And here's um, a dispenser, which shoots a freaking arrow in your face every time you hit the button. So that's great about redstone. I love it. Okay, awesome. And this one puts a block up in the air. And then you can't get it anymore. Eh, with the block. And this one brings the block back down, and you can't do anything with it anyway. And then you hit this one, and it turns that red, and it friggin' explodes. Of course, why wouldn't it? Okay. So, those are the outputs. I think we're doing great here. I'm learning a ton. Come over here. I homeschool, uh, I homeschooled myself all the way through college, by the way. Look how I turned out. You hit the button, big stone nose, and he hits this, and you flick the robot penis, and he turns those all those guys on too, and you step on this guy, and he does a thing, and you put a robot penis on the big pancake, and he does a thing too. So all of these guys, when you press one of them, they all affect the other. Isn't that wonderful? We love these things. We love redstone. Penis. So now over here. This is uh this is the last part of it. This is a detector track on the end, and he gets affected by minecart. So if you hop in a minecart and roll over him, <laughs> you wind up in a hole. And that's redstone inputs and outputs. Thanks, generic B.